Hello and welcome to another edition of I Don't Normally Watch it here on JLJ Media. I'm James Live Jr. It's the first one of the year. Um, I want to thank you. I was looking at my numbers, actually, and the show is doing, I almost dropped the show. I mean, I always go back and forth, like, does anybody watch the show? But literally, you guys are actually watching it. I start going back and look at my numbers. I'm like, oh, people are watching the show. So thank you so much for watching it. Um, if you have any suggestions of things you think I should watch, I may check them out. Um, but this this was I I this was eye opening for me. Um, I I didn't uh, yeah I, did, I just was surprised by that. So anyway, here's a new episode, um, and I have more I'm working on right now. Uh, so this episode is a show. <laughs> so if so, spoiler: you don't like gay content, then don't listen to this episode. Of course, we'll tell you that now. Um, it won't be explicit or anything. Just it's it's a show that's based off of like straight people reality shows and it's called for the love of dilfs if you don't know what a dilf is it's a dad i'd like to beep uh starts with an f ends with a k uh so it'd be a dad's like to, mm. you already know what milfs are same difference um so why not why not have a show you know why not <laughs> like why not it's on out tv out tv is a gay network now for you been out for years <laughs> Um, and it's a show I would never normally watch. I would never, I just would never watch. Um, it is, uh, I'm not, I'm not, in, not even sorts about this, but I'm not into reality dating shows. I, I've seen, a, I did a show on The Bachelor last year or a couple years ago. So you'll, you'll hear on, don't, I don't normally watch. I watched an episode, a couple of episodes with my friend Jim Alexander. So you can watch that episode on here. I'm going to get a laugh or two, but I don't really watch, yeah, I don't watch this kind of stuff. Um, so, but this one, I was like, let me check it out. It was on YouTube. I caught it. I caught it up the first episode. So it's episode one. I'm not watching the rest of the season. I don't know anything like that. But it's episode one, and I. So the premise is, apparently, there are gay archetypes. There are the, tw like, well, basically the Twinkie, Kimbos, that are all younger, and all these. I think they're in their twenties. All of them were skinny, small, but, but very, I mean, ethnically diverse. I'll give points for diversity, both sets. The daddies, too. So it's himbos and daddies. The daddies were also very, actually, kind of diverse. I'll give points on that. They were diverse. But they all came walking in with no shirts on, the whole, that whole thing. They're in Fort Lauderdale, so of course it's hot as F down there. And this giant mansion, um, Stormy Daniels. Yes, sto that Stormy Daniels hosts it. And Dr. Dilf. Is the narrator? He's British. He's the narrator. Uh, we don't see him. He's like Charlie or Charlie's Angels. Um, and I have to say, I can't, be, I can't believe these words come out of my mouth. Story Daniels is hilarious. I actually, she made me laugh, and the Doctor Dilf narration made because you can tell because I because I'm 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 throwing out the window. We know these are produced. We know that they cast people. It's all casted and all this stuff. So we all so besides all that. I'm not even going to go there. But, I mean, that's just the reality TV these days. But in terms of pure entertainment, she was funny. The narration was funny. I chuckled more times than I thought I would. I was like, that is that is actually very, really funny and hilarious. Um, the mansion is beautiful, of course. It's fine, great locations. Um, and the whole... And, and actually, the setup is, is fairly simple. It's like you, you introduce the himbos, introduce the daddies... Um, they had a thing where you had to go without seeing each other to pick for first dates. It's randomized. And so they had like, these little boxes that something had a piece of their underwear, each of their daddy's underwear, as something about that represents them. So that was actually kind of cool. I said, okay, I can go with that. But they all hook up. You could tell a couple of them were like, no, nope, this is not going to work, uh, and voice that. And others were like, I'm, they, they're really into each other. Well, there's a porn star, gay porn star. And I, I was like, oh, you're a gay porn star. Um, and he says it. He's a sex worker on the show. All the others, we, again, diverse, wise, uh, looking wise. But the one, Gordon, who's 37, that's considered a daddy, 37. I had a little issue with that, obviously. Um, but the, the thing is, so what happens is you try, you try to find true love, obviously. They have different things, obstacles coming up, and all that kind of stuff. Of course, uh, each I guess uh, uh, if something happens, there isn't hookups. I didn't wasn't really clear. 
a himbo or a daddy will go home and a new one will come in to his place. So I'm assu- I, I wasn't clear about that part. I was like, so I'm, I'm assuming that in the end, it's all about who, I guess, whoever hooks up, the mo- whoever, whoever connects for true love. Because the ending is $10,000 in true love. That's what thing. So, but I'm not sure. I wasn't clear about that. I tried to rewind and watch it. I'm still not clear about how one leaves, one comes, one leaves, one comes. It kind of replaces. They show previews for the the, the um, season, and you see some. there's some new blood that does come in. So I'm like, okay. Um, it was already drama. Two of the, the himbos knew each other. because One of the best friends, Tokyo and, and Phoenix. I have to look down because I can remember these names. Um... And then and he's friends with the ex, and, he, and you were trying just it was just like that was you know maybe that made me chuckle just because that whole exchange you know was like whatever. Um, also, uh, these are their first dates, and there were two guys I actually really kind of liked together. It was uh, Nathan and Bobby, both had neck tattoos. One was a songwriter, one was a singer. I was like, I could see something that was going on there. And then of course, Alex and well, I forgot the young boy's name. They both, they had a really strong, they're already kissing her, they had a really strong connection. And I kind of felt that a little bit um, on there. So I was like, okay, I'm feeling a little something. You know, I'm no these, I watch this, I would never watch the show or whatever. Um, but I just, I just, I, just, I was just, I was laughing. There were some parts of it that I was, I was just like laughing. I was like, this is actually really funny because they, they were making fun of actually the show. The narrator was making fun of the show. Um, and there's a stormy, she looked great. Look great, run just kind of doing her thing. Um, she was she's a fun host. Um, so uh, and I should say it's, it's five people and five people. So they start out and just keep rotating them out. So I got my notes. Is there anything else on here? Um, yeah, I, it's 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 literally like other reality shows, and, and I guess and part of it, you know, I mean, there's there's another show out right now. There's, I, I saw one. It was, I was, it was there's one. There was, there was X on the Beach and like, Love is Blind or a Blind Love. So there's all, there's all these different ones that are out there, and I've seen a couple of them here and there. I kind of sampled them here and there. There was one I did watch. That I watched for a while. My, that was that was for a minute. Um, but I'm just like, I guess in you know, all these shows, I know occasionally in real life it does happen. Uh, but, but I always think about Big Brother. Big Brother a lot of times there's a lot of couples from Big Brother or Amazing Race. They actually happen. Um. But this show, but I will say, because I was because I'd watched again a show I'd never watch, also. Um, which maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do an episode on that. The real friends of WeHo, whatever, like another one I would never watch. Um, I watched that. And this actually seems more a little more authentic, if I can use that word, than that show. Uh, at least these guys, they're here for they know they're here for a reason. Um, and so for anybody who's watching it, maybe, maybe you'll be entertained. Um, and I think that's the, that's the thing about all of these shows at this point of reality TV is that they may not be scripted, but they are produced and storylined. But I feel like you have to kind of put all that out and just watch them. You watch the entertainment. And if you can do that, then you're good. Um, and I was going to mention, cause there is almost six, had almost 6,000 views on YouTube. So I'm like, okay. So the people tuned into it. it wasn't, there wasn't really many comments. Like, I'll try to read the comments. There's no comments. But I don't know anybody who's watching the show. I don't know if anybody is or not. But if you are watching the show, let me know what you think, of course, in the comments and uh, below and let me know. Um, but the real deal, if you want to watch the real deal, oh my God, what was this thing called? <laughs> For love of dills. <laughs> go to LTV or go to YouTube. You can watch the first episode that I just, that I just saw. I'm James Lodge, you can catch this all other episodes. This is my video-only series here on JLJ Media YouTube. Follow us there. Bye.